In today's video, how to lose weight once you've regained it. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm going to break down the process you need to go through to lose weight once you've gained it. So, I got the question in my direct messages from someone who was using the HCG diet, and if you're not familiar with that diet, I have a video that discusses it, but basically, it's dealing with a very low calorie diet. Clinically speaking, a very low calorie diet is considered 400 to 800 calories. Most of the extreme diets I've seen, such as the HCG diet, are like 500 calories per day. So this person, as you'll see in the question, lost five kilos, which is around 11 pounds, using this approach. Now, once the diet was over, she put the weight back on, and now she's concerned that she's gotta be in a bikini in two months and she wants to lose the weight again. Well, I'm gonna give you some real world advice. How do we lose the weight once we've gained it again? Well, unfortunately, you're gonna to have to go back on an extreme diet. Well, why is that? Well, to lose the weight, that was the approach you took. And so your body adapted to that measure. To lose weight this time, it's probably gonna to have to be a little bit more extreme. So if you were on 500 calories a day and doing 30 minutes of cardio, you might have to do 500 calories a day and an hour of cardio. That's right. Now, am I suggesting this? Not really. I think you need to look at your overall long-term well-being and health and enjoyment before you undertake this. However, I understand that sometimes we're gonna take extreme measures because we wanna reach our goal. Just understand that every time you undergo this process, you're going to make it more and more difficult to lose weight. And if you wanna know more about that, I have a video called Dieting Age, meaning every time you diet, your body changes and you go through things that is going to make it more difficult, potentially, in the future to lose weight if you don't handle things properly, such as reverse dieting, such as having a plan for when the diet ends. This is why I always discuss things like flexible dieting. So, when it comes to fat loss, is there such a thing as reaching a point where you can no longer lose body fat, no longer make changes? I don't think so, because if there was, people wouldn't starve to death, right? We can lose body fat to the point where, yes, we die. So, is there a point where very low calorie dieting and being active will no longer allow our body to lose fat? I've seen some pretty extreme cases of people doing two, three hours of cardio, and yes, they do get leaner, but the situation that they're in at the end is really what concerns me the most. So, when we're looking at short-term goals, just let's make sure we have a plan so they don't impact the rest of our lives. The worst thing I see is someone that goes on a very low calorie diet um, to lose a few pounds, then they end up heavier, then they go back on a low calorie diet again, then they end up yet heavier again. And you do this over a few cycles and now you're well over your weight that you were when you started your first diet and you only think, man, I didn't realize how good I had it at that body weight. I was eating whatever I wanted, I was enjoying life. Now you have really adapted your body with a lot more body fat, a much slower metabolism, and not really understanding how to do anything about it because these very low calorie diets just lead to worse and worse situations, okay? The reverse diet approach is going to be big in the future, okay? People are going to get sick of it eventually. They're gonna stop looking at the magazines, they're gonna stop lifting, listening to these idiots on YouTube uh, that are talking about, uh, you know, insulin is the magic to fat loss. No, it is not. The magic to fat loss is having a healthy body is being an athlete, not starving yourself and not avoiding any magic foods that, you know, the fat fairy is going to come make you fatter if you eat them. Wrong, okay? So I'm saying it now to be historically correct. I understand I'm in the minority here, but when we're looking at this approach that you're taking, yes, I understand it psychologically speaking. I understand it that in the short term you wanna reach your goal, but understand that if you don't take care of yourself in the long term, it's going to lead to more problems like this and more unhappiness. Start treating yourself like an athlete, okay? 
and you will have much more success. What do I mean by treat yourself like an athlete? Well, our bodies are basically a machine and if you fuel the machine, it will respond properly. If you train hard and eat right, your body is going to look like that. Look at athletes that we see in the Olympics, on television, wherever you see them. They are in great shape. They do not get in great shape by dieting down. No, they get in great shape by playing hard, practicing hard, being very good at what they do all the time, and they fuel their bodies for recovery, okay? Michael Phelps, you know, famously has some, some pictures on the internet of him swimming in the Olympics, and he's, you know, probably well below 10%, 8%, 7% body fat, and, you know, while he was training for the Olympics, he was eating, you know, as much as 10,000 calories a day, if you want to believe the reports. But that's because he was swimming in a pool for hours and hours a day. I don't expect you to do that, but I just want you to understand that to get and look and maintain like an athlete, you have to live like an athlete. Don't starve yourself. You're just setting yourself up for body fat regain and body composition that you're never going to be happy with. And you're just gonna wish you were back where you were when you started. So hopefully that answers your question and also kind of addresses potentially some things you might be thinking about doing in the future. Do I think you should not diet? to look good in your bikini in two months? Absolutely not. You wanna be happy, I want you to be happy. I just want you to understand the things that are going to happen if you continue that process. If you don't have a plan, if you lose the five kilos, go on vacation and blow it out and you come home heavier, what do you do then, okay? Do you go back into a diet? No, you need to repair your metabolism. And I have a video for that too. Sorry, I keep talking about my own videos, but I don't wanna to go too deep into this video about this topic. If you wanna to learn how to fix your metabolism, I have a video on how to fix your metabolism, okay? So that's it, guys. Short video for today. It's Sunday, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to it, get back to some work. I appreciate you guys following along. Sorry for the sh kind of rant, but I, I kind of get tired of having to, um, you know, I just see so much wrong stuff out there, and I know it's going to be a revolution in the future, so it just frustrates me a little bit um, thinking about all the things, but you know what? Good information is going to make things right. Historical information is going to make things right. You're gonna see it on my channel. You've seen my clients talk about reverse dieting. You've seen people learn to maintain a happy body composition through proper methods, not through hocus pocus. And so we'll just keep putting out information. All right guys, you have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.